Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. So as per usual guys, the timestamps will be in the description bar below. And let's just get started here. Okay, so starting off with Aries. Alrighty, let's see person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Okay, guys. So we have uh, two cards here. The first one we have a crossroads. Okay, so it says choice, multiple options, turning point, indecisive. Okay. And then we have heartbreak. So we have hurt, betrayal, grief, or disappointment. Hmm. I mean, just these two cards alone, Aries, um, it can let me know that the person on your mind right now, maybe there is some sort of heartache, uh, you know, between the both of you. There could have been a choice that needed to be made since the first card is crossroads. You may, you know, it may be a situation where you feel like your person was keeping their options open, but maybe telling you something completely different. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, seven of wands. So, you know, this person feels like you're currently very guarded. Okay, so you're kind of on defense mode. They may not be sure how to communicate to you, Aries, or what to say to you at this time, just because they're not really sure how you're going to react. They do feel some sort of frustration because with the seven of wands, it's almost like you either don't want to speak to this person or they feel like there's some sort of like passive aggression going on. Okay, split the deck and may see the tower. Yeah, so something definitely came crumbling down here, Aries. Okay, it could have been very unexpected. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But what I see here is like, it's, it's very specific actually, Aries. It's almost an energy of something coming to an end. And maybe, uh, you know, whether it's your energy or your person, there seems to be someone here who wanted to speak about things and the opposing party seemed to be more closed off. Okay, Aries, so I feel like either you wanted to speak about this ending or your person did, but, you know, it, it wasn't something that you guys were able to agree on. Or, you know, it's like if you want to speak about it, maybe your person was avoidant. You know, when you look at this card here, it's like, you know, there's a broken cup and she's on the phone, but she's all red. So it's like there's some sort of maybe um, conversation that took place where you guys are aggravated about it or there's some sort of frustration here. I do see that. Um, so how does this person feel about Aries? Hmm, seven of swords, guys. So with, you know, the first card being crossroads, it's, you know, very clear here that someone was being sneaky. What your person is thinking about right now is some sort of deception, Aries. What is on their mind is... Um, like a lack of clarity, something that was very confusing. This person may be avoidant at this time because, you know, they are hiding something from you or if it already came to light here, they're not sure how to go about it, right? Going back to that Seven of Wands energy that we did see at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords is someone who is like on defense mode or someone who's very guarded because of, you know, some sort of dishonesty taking place. So I can either read it as <clears throat> your person being avoidant and defensive in terms of not wanting to speak about what's going on, or this is how they view you. So let's see what the mutual energy here is. I feel like they're hurt by the situation, but I also feel like they don't know what to say when it comes to uh, communication. <clears throat> the Hierophant. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Taurus here. But what I'm seeing, guys, is like someone here could have been in another commitment. Quite frankly, I'm seeing, you know, someone here who could have been in another commitment or again, it could have been options. But because we have the Hierophant here, I feel like your person may be thinking about emotions that never left or how those emotions have affected, you know, the bond that they share with you. Because it's very interesting. We have the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. So it's like commitment energy versus maybe, you know, um, going behind someone's back, sneaky kind of energy. 
right? I do feel like your person um, views you as someone who's intelligent or you like have your ducks in a row. Like you know what you want, you know, you're very assertive, that sort of thing. So let's see. And in the mutual energy of the Hierophant there, it means both of you are still thinking about what could have been. Or if you were in a long-term commitment with this person, you know, the commitment is still on your mind. But it doesn't change the fact that there was dishonesty here, right? So it's almost like the hurt is outweighing, um, you know, what you guys once wanted here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This person views you as emotionally detaching or walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. They also feel like it may have been a hard decision for you, Aries, right? With the Five of Swords, it, you know, it does speak about mental conflict. So how they view you is, yeah, I definitely feel like Aries was conflicted or they were thinking a lot about the situation. But, um, you know, I feel like they are moving on. I feel like they are emotionally detaching, right? Um, and again, guys, with the Eight of Cups, like, there's something very familiar about this connection. So when you think about this person, when you think about the bond that you share with them, you do feel like, okay, I either shared a past life with this person or something just feels so familiar. You know, the chemistry is very much there. So that could be the reason why you were very conflicted in terms of, you know, do I walk away? Do I try? It's like you didn't want to give up, but you had to put yourself first because this person views you as someone who was not emotionally content in this um, commitment here. Or some of you were not emotionally intent with this person not making the decision to be in a commitment because, again, the first card is crossroads. So what could have, um, you know, caused a disconnect here could definitely be the fact that, you know, your person was failing to make a choice um, or they told you they were going to make a choice, but you felt very strung along. Um, seven of Swords. Yeah. I think this person, you know, with the... Um, uh, with, you know, like an energy of dishonesty. And again, the seven of wands coming out first, I feel like this person, um, they are wanting to apologize. They are wanting to express to you, you know, um, how they're feeling about what has occurred. But the thing about it is as much as they want to express their emotions to you, they view you as very on the fence. They may even think that something that they tell you, you won't really believe. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, temperance. Some of you could be involved with the Sagittarius, and then we also have the wheel. So you guys could be involved with the fixed sign. Um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. This person hopes that things can work in their favor. With the wheel, you know, there may be something else that's working out for them, and they could be wanting to share good news with you. But with temperance, that's about coming together. That's about making peace with the situation. So, for example, even if you are not if you are not willing to, you know, uh, give this person another chance, they want to know that you're not upset with them, and they want to know that you guys are making peace with the situation. Because they understand you're frustrated, but what bothers them is the way that things were left so it's like there may be a lot of questions up in the air. This person feels like there's unfinished business. And I feel like that's the thing that's bothering them. Because with the temperance and the wheel, what they're hoping for is, okay, Aries and I can make peace with the situation. Look, I know this has happened, but I want to be at peace with the situation. I don't want to think about Aries or the situation and feel very frustrated or broken. Um, for some of you, this bond here, you guys could have started off as like best friends, right? So this person may feel like, you know, now they have lost like a best friend and a lover in one and it's really bothering them. But that's a very specific message. Like some of you, it could have been a friendship and then it developed into something more. The Hierophant. It's like if, you know, for those of you where the message resonates about, you know, this person maybe being your best friend or you guys um, just, you know, liking each other's vibe and then soon developing feelings, you may have felt that everything was very good until emotions got involved. Right, because with the Seven of Swords and then the Hierophant, it's like, yeah, there's a desire for commitment, but the actions are saying otherwise. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, what do we have? Knight of Swords. This person really does want to speak to you. And if they're speaking to you right now, I feel like there may be something that they want to explain to you in terms of their stability. And I feel, again, that they are bottling up a lot of emotions. They are bottling up, you know, the apologies or what they feel bad for. Okay, they view you as, again, a stable individual. Um, and they also, you know, like this is someone who feels like they can trust you. Um, Seven of Wands again, see? So it's like they feel like they can trust you or confide in you and they really want to be open about their emotions, but they view you as guarded. Like some of you made it very clear that you no longer trust this individual. 
okay? Um, and some of you may have even made it clear that you don't want to speak to them because Seven of Wands could also be a very guarded energy where you're kind of like, okay, I just want to keep this person at bay right now. I don't really want to, uh, you know, have a full-blown conversation or, you know, like especially if you are dealing with heartbreak or overcoming some sort of hurt, maybe you feel like it's like an out of sight, out of mind thing or you just want to take this time to uh, like, like be in solitude and heal. Okay, what's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This person really misses you, Aries. You know, um, Eight of Cups, you know, they're viewing you as emotionally detaching, walking away, doing what's best for you. But Five of Pentacles is an energy of feeling very left out in the cold. But I will say they're very hesitant to spark a conversation to speak about their emotions. And the Seven of Swords is upright, which means there may be a decision that still needs to be made depending on your situation. There may be something that your person needs to come to terms with. Okay, so if they were caught out on some sort of lie here, it's with the Seven of Swords upright, it's like they know they need to admit to it or something that they're involved in is still active, right? And this could kind of be, you know, contributing to the fear that they have of reaching out to you or at least speaking about their emotions. Yeah, Five of Pentacles being clarified by the Magician. Bottom of the deck here, Four of Swords. Yeah, I see this person healing, but when the Magician comes out in a spread, guys, like pretty much the advice behind the card is you have, um, you know, the ball is in your court. You have the power in your hands to kind of adjust your reality here. So this person may feel like the ball is in your court. And with the Eight of Cups, they are viewing you as the one who is like, you know, walking away or emotionally detaching. So Aries, I feel like for some of you, you're really trying to reclaim your power and that's how they view you. Because with the Magician being the closing card, it's like, Maybe you were going with the flow of things. Maybe you were giving this person the benefit of the doubt, but they feel like there's a very firm decision you've made and it's creating a change or like a barrier between the both of you. Well, not necessarily a barrier, but like a disconnect because it's like, okay, Aries no longer trusts me and they are walking away. So as much as I want to express my emotion, Seven of Swords upright, I'm still doing something I'm not supposed to be doing or I'm still um, not ready to be completely honest about something. So that's what I see here, guys. Okay, uh, moving on to Taurus. Alrighty, Taurus. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So we have uh, two cards for you guys. We have romantic feelings. So falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotions. And then we have finances, money problems, work, material things, success. Okay. Hmm. So off the bat here, guys, like obviously this is a romantic connection, but I feel like finances could be in the way or someone may need to relocate here. The third thing I'm getting from this energy, guys, is like there may be a desire to get a relationship off the ground, but, you know, a party here may feel like they are not where they want to be in their personal life or they are trying to like rebuild their self after some sort of financial loss. But I do see that stability uh, pertaining to, you know, the practical, you know, what's going on in the practical realm is affecting someone here. Um, OK, so we have the four of swords on the bottom of the deck and then split the deck and we have the three of pentacles. So what I see here, Taurus, is this person's pretty much thinking about how to come together or how to work with you. Three of Pentacles, um, you know, it, it, it does speak about teamwork coming together, but because it's the Pentacle energy and it's interesting, you guys have the finances card, um, there could be, you know, something that needs to change, whether it's, like I said, someone needs to relocate here, they need to kind of work on their schedule. It could even just be work in the way of the connection. You know what I mean? Um, so let's see here, guys. Someone here could also be healing, right, from, uh, you know, some sort of financial loss. Because with the Four of Swords, it does speak about healing, but I'm getting more of like a practical or something that's going on in someone's practical, uh, you know, environment. 
um, kind of energy. So I feel like, you know, if it's like a lack of stability or someone could have recently lost a job, it could really be affecting them. Like maybe Taurus, you know that your person's going through a hard time or this could be you and you've been open about it. Uh, let's see. Queen of Swords. Someone here could have recently went through a divorce or a breakup because that's what the Queen of Swords um, could be read as. So in that case, maybe, you know, they took a financial hit or, you know, some sort of thing of, uh, you know, finances being lost here. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Okay. So Taurus, what's going on is your person views you as someone who has communicated, okay, or made something very clear. So if it wasn't something that you verbalized to this person, they feel like you, you know, through your actions, this is what they have kind of, you know, this is what they've, um, you know, uh, made a decision. Like this is what has helped them make a decision, your actions here. Now, Taurus, I do feel like your person is viewing you as someone who may be a bit difficult to read or maybe even a bit difficult to speak to. So your focus can be elsewhere or you know that the emotions are present, but maybe you have other responsibilities, but they are viewing you as, you know, a bit in your shell or you're not as open as you usually are. This person also feels like there's some sort of uh, like frustration. So you could be frustrated with something, but they feel like you're not really telling them what you're frustrated about. Okay, um, they do view you as someone who's truthful, but how they're reading your energy is something is bothering Taurus, but they don't want to tell me, or that's something that they're keeping to their self. Okay. The chariot. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer. So the chariot being in the mutual energy here, guys, there is a lot of determination when it comes to progress, when it comes to, you know, moving things forward. But what I see here is your person is very focused on, it's like the question they have in their mind here is how do we have progress and then come to a halt? Or how do we have progress and then something is in the way? What's bothering your person, Taurus, is essentially um, the blockages or the, or the very things that cause a disconnect between the both of you. Okay, this person is very determined to be with you. I do see that with the chariot. Um, and I also feel like there could be um, something to do with the vehicle. Okay, Taurus, so maybe, you know, you have a new car here or your person does, or maybe the financial trouble is related to a car. Um, let's see. Yeah, the sun. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. What I see here, guys, is like you make your person very, very happy. You could have even met this person's family or that's what's on their mind. Bottom of the deck. Okay, page of wands. What do we have? The emperor, the four of pentacles. Okay, so this is someone who's definitely going through some sort of instability. Either they are in a connection where they feel like there is a lack of stability, you know, whether that connection is with you or elsewhere. The second thing I will uh, say here is your person could be trying to read build their self after some sort of loss and it's kind of affecting you know their ability to be more open with you or take things to the next level for some of you this person could have communicated that they actually um, need some sort of time to figure something out here i do see that queen of swords eight of wands yeah as i say they could have communicated to you that they need some time we have the eight of wands which is a card of communication bottom of the deck the wheel yeah, there's definitely some sort of communication taking place between the both of you or this person is about to reach out, but it's like they have this desire for you, right? They have this energy of, I want to communicate. I want to, you know, bring forward some sort of truth. Um, and they feel like if they were honest with you about something, that would kind of help speed up the process here. So what do they want to communicate to Taurus um, with the Eight of Wands? <clears throat> Okay, they're very curious. So it could be a question that they want to ask you three of wands. It could also be that this person is wondering where the future, you know, what the future of this connection holds. So there's a lot of uncertainty when this person thinks about their future or when they think about their life. And of course, because they're thinking about you, that's why I'm telling you that you are a part of their plans. But there, there's a... Um, a bit of uncertainty here like i'm not really sure where things are going maybe if i was honest with taurus we can figure that out but i do see with the eight of wands upright you know high possibility that they are communicating with you so what's the chariot <clears throat> knight of wands yeah the moon okay so Taurus, this is a very clear message. You know, this is an individual who feels like how you view them is someone who only speaks 
to you when it's convenient for them. I hope that wasn't confusing because we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Moon. So how this person feels like or how they are viewing you to view the situation is <coughs> you may view them as someone who, again, uh, you know, only speaks to you when it's convenient for them or they do a lot of ghosting. Like there could be a lot of like in and out behavior here. There could be, you know, um, conversations for days or weeks on end. And then you guys hit some sort of, you know, like plateau or it's like, you know, your person falls off the face of the earth, right? Not quite literally guys, but you know what I mean here. Um, and this person also feels like the uncert again, the moon speaks about uncertainty and what's in the unknown. So that is what is bothering your person. So something they're aware of is the fact that this is a connection that's very on and off. Okay, so whether it's to do with work, whether it's just the lack of consistency, that's something that they are aware of. And we have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. This person could also feel like you're like going out more, you're being more social, um, maybe you're making new friends or you know, wondering if you're in a new connection, like there is this curious energy with the page of swords, um, you know, because that does speak about someone who's keeping tabs on you or checking up on you here and there. Alrighty, let's see. What's another one? Five of Pentacles. I'll be very honest with you, Taurus. Like, I feel like for some of you, when you were involved with this person, even if you're involved with them right now, they may be someone who receives a lot of attention, okay? For example, or they may be someone who um, is in and out because they have multiple options or, you know, they want to have their cake and eat it too. But Five of Pentacles, clarifying the Knight of Wands, it's an interesting energy because if you boil down how this person acts versus how they actually feel, it's very different. <clears throat> so I'll explain it to you. Knight of Wands, you know, they may come off as someone, you know, um, who is very attractive and, you know, not saying that they're not, but it is someone who kind of thrives off attention or they're co constantly like in the public eye or, or, you know, exploring their options, that sort of thing. But when they're alone, they feel very alone. Like this person doesn't seem to be emotionally fulfilled or their lack of stability is what is impacting their mood right now. Because five of pentacles, pentacles, uh, you know, energy in general could be what's going on in, again, your external environment. So your person, they may be very worried about their finances. They may be worried about their career, finding a new job. This could be someone who wants to, who needs to, uh, you know, relocate, right? It doesn't always have to be finances, but they're not rooted. They don't feel stable within their self, but they, you know, it may be hard to tell because of the way that they carry their self. So I'm explaining to you um, how you perceive your person based off of how they act versus how they actually feel. Right, because five of pentacles is how they feel, and that's kind of like um, feeling very detached, feeling like you know you're 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 on your own, just feeling very alone is how your person is, you know their their current emotions. So the sun, let's see, <clears throat> and this may be this may be an individual where they don't really speak about their uh, like issues or, or problems. You know, it could be someone who's kind of like. If something is wrong, they'd rather just keep it to their self, the sun. The wheel, okay. And then we have the star card, wow. They desperately want to heal this connection with you, Taurus. I will say that. Yeah, six of pentacles, right? That comes after the five of pentacles, which is like a generous energy or like, uh, you know, wanting to gift you something. But... What I see here with the sun, the wheel, as well as the star card here, of course, some of you could be dealing with um, a Leo, Aquarius, uh, another Taurus like yourself or a Scorpio. But it's like your person really wants things to work out in their favor. This could be, again, someone who receives a lot of attention or it could be picking up on your energy. But what they want to make clear is how they feel towards you. Because in your closing cards, it's really nothing negative to say there, guys. It's very positive. It's like the wheel of fortune, the sun, the star. So what's on their mind or what they want the future to hold is for the both of you to come together or come to some sort of mutual agreement where you're happy, Taurus, and so is your person. Um, and with the star, again, I feel like there's something very rare that you guys share. There could be something very different in this connection and they're not like ready to let go. Okay, guys. So moving on to Gemini.
<clears throat> Alrighty, Gemini. <clears throat> so the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Okay, so we only have one card for you guys. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have unfinished business. It's not over. Patterns, back and forth, baggage. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's see. Okay, so someone here obviously feels like there's unfinished business between the both of you. There may be something that feels very repetitive about this connection, kind of like when you guys, um, you know, have some sort of disagreement, it could be, okay, we're going to work on this or we're going to do something differently, but you feel like you always end up at square one. Um, again, it says back and forth. So there could have been a conversation where it was more so like you kind of explaining how you feel Gemini and then your person. Um, but you feel like you guys are not really getting anywhere, right? Something feels very repetitive. Um, but you guys, even though you feel like, you know, the both of you feel like you're not able to get anywhere in this connection, you also have a hard time letting go of each other. Um, it says baggage. So of course someone's past, you know, baggage here could be affecting the, uh, you know, this connection. You could have met this person and they could, it could be an energy of, okay, this is too good to be true. Or because in my past, my trust was betrayed. I have yet to heal that. Right. Um, so yeah, baggage could be playing a role here. We have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And then we have the hanged man when I split the deck here. Your person is pretty much thinking about their next actions. So if they're speaking to you, they're thinking about what to do next in terms of gifting you something, in terms of, you know, taking you out. Um, could be just, you know, trying to um, have more, you know, attain more stability in this connection. But they're doing a lot of thinking. Now, they're not just thinking about what they want to do next. They're thinking about how you feel and your perspective towards the situation. The hanged man usually comes up in a spread when someone is trying to view things from all perspectives so that they can kind of make the right decision or the most fair decision. Okay, you guys could be dealing uh, with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Pisces. Ace of Swords, yeah. Bottom of the deck here, we have the High Priestess. Something that this person has been keeping to their self, they want to be honest about. I see, like, if this person is speaking to you, you may um, hear something very unexpected from them, or you did not expect them to open up about something that you know intuitively, but you felt like they wouldn't really, uh, like, communicate it to you. It's like an energy of, you know, when someone wants to... Um, you, you kind of have a uh, feeling of someone wanting to say something or something is on the back of their mind, but they're kind of just like bottling it up. I feel like that may come to light, you know, and of course what they want to tell you could vary. Let's see. Yeah, three of swords in the uh, mutual energy here. So for some of you, this information has already um, been illuminated to you and it could be why the mutual energy is three of swords because both of you are very hurt by this situation and I think what makes it difficult is you guys don't like the way that things were kind of left, uh, you know, or how you left things off here. Because with the unfinished business card, it's almost like, okay, we have, I have questions. There's no way this, this is how things were supposed to end. And you guys are very, very hurt by this situation, but I feel like it's impacting you guys on a mental level where you're like thinking about it, but there's like a lack of action here. The wheel. Yeah. I see that your person may want to change, guys. Like, they want to change in the way you guys communicate to each other. Like, I see a specific change. Like, um, for instance, if it's, I don't see it as, okay, we need to talk more. I see it as, okay, when we talk to each other, we need to listen to each other more. Or, um, you know, when I tell you how I feel, I want you to try and understand. Or, you know, when I speak to you, I want you to be more patient. Like, there's something in particular um, that is affecting this connection and this person wants a change. They feel like when you guys get to expressing yourselves to each other, it results in an argument or some sort of hurt. Because with the Three of Swords, they're very hurt by some sort of communication, okay? Or the way that you portray them um, um, as of right now after, you know, um, some sort of communication took place. Because I'm reading for a lot of you, so energies are fluid. For some of you, this conversation is done and over with, but now you guys are, you know, kind of dealing with the aftermath. Um, what's the Ace of Swords? 
<clears throat> Three of Pentacles. Yeah, your person is becoming very clear on how you guys can work together. That's why I did say that there's something very specific here, Gemini, um, if that needs to change or your person feels this way, right? So it's not to say that you may not think something else needs to change, but your person feels like, you know, in order for us to come together, we need to be truthful about what's going on or what what's pretty much, uh, you know, wrong here. Um, you know, and I feel like for many of you, you know, what you guys are trying to get to the bottom of is a very repetitive pattern. So it could be like things are great and then, you know, when something happens, you guys are like, okay, yeah, we need to change this or we need to do something differently, but you feel like there's not enough effort or this person's not meeting you halfway. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles. Because your person is starting to realize if something doesn't change, right, nothing like nothing in your dynamic will change. It will continue to be very repetitive. So whether this is like, you know, a behavioral trait on their end, whether this is, you know, something on your end or the consistency between the both of you, they do feel like, you know, something in this dynamic requires change. Um, three of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Hierophant, yeah. I feel like this person actually wants to commit to you. And for some of you, maybe you are in a commitment with this person, but, um, you know, again, there's like a very on and off kind of energy. Or if you were in a commitment with them in the past, you guys are coming together because you still feel drawn to each other, but it doesn't change the fact that the reality of the situation is something needs to change. Like some of you could have made it very clear that, hey, like, yeah, there are emotions here. I still feel <clears throat> very drawn to you, but I feel like we need to communicate more. I feel like you know, we need to actually um, attain more stability in this connection for it to work, or we're going to keep disconnecting and wanting to connect again, but we're ending up at square one, right? Um, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo, but I do see here, guys, like your person, <clears throat> they're digging deeper, like they're digging beneath the surface. They're trying to figure out why they met you or why they feel so drawn to you, okay? Um, three of Swords. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. This person feels like you're hurt, but you're also upset at them. You know, um, this could be the aftermath of a breakup considering we have the Queen of Swords here. But how, how this person, you know, in the mutual energy, we have the Three of Swords, Two of Swords, as well as the Queen of Swords. So you guys are obviously frustrated with each other, but there's also a lot of hurt. Okay, uh, Gemini, there's a lot of, I wish it didn't happen this way. You know, I still feel so drawn to this person, but why can't we get it right? Or why is something always in the way? Why, you know, why do things feel overcomplicated here? And then with the two of swords, because there's so much that is unclear, because the future is unclear, there is a failure to make a decision. It's like as much as you guys feel drawn to each other, it's like, how do I make a decision if I don't know what the future holds? How do I make a decision if I feel like we're on a hamster wheel? What's the wheel? Queen of Wands. Okay. Yeah, a lot of attraction here, I will say that. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, you know, the unfinished business or or what I would uh, what I was saying earlier, like the hamster wheel could be someone who is very in and out, right? Like this connection could be very passionate, Gemini, right? And there's there's emotions that are brewing, but once something gets a little too um it, it's like your like your person could run away from their emotions or when it comes to commitment, they could be you know, this could be like a runner chaser dynamic. So you could be in the energy of the Queen of Swords where you're very tired of that, you know, energy. You're kind of like, okay, we either do this or we don't kind of thing, right? Because the Queen of Swords is someone who's very practical, very honest. Um, they don't intentionally try to hurt your feelings, but they don't really hold back either. So there's something here that you made very clear. What's the Queen of Wands? The Justice card. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the Libra. It's on the bottom of the deck here. Seven of Swords. Yeah. For some of you, there's there's a choice that needed to be made. You may feel like with the Two of Swords, I don't know. You know, the future feels unclear. Or you feel like the reason why this connection is on and off, um, very specific. So only take it if it resonates. But you may feel like everything is great. But when something doesn't work out with you, your person resorts to other options. Even if they're not emotionally invested, you may feel like they do things to get under your skin with that Knight, Knight of Wands energy or that Seven of Swords we see now. And with the wheel, the queen of wands and the justice card, I see that this person is wanting to, you know, make something right. They are still thinking about the hurt here. Um, but many of you, they view you as someone who just wants the truth. Ace of swords and the uh, justice card here. Someone who wants um, the truth no matter, you know, what it may be. 
They also view you as um, like wanting the scales to balance or something fair to occur in this bond here. Okay, guys. So that is what I'm getting for you. Uh, moving on to Cancer. Alrighty, Cancer. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Let's see, hmm, for my Cancerians. Alrighty guys, so we have two cards here. Um, the first one that wanted to come out is single. Okay, so it says alone, isolation, lonely, guarded. Okay. And then the second card is grass is greener, jealousy, better option, unhappy, deserve better. Okay. So what I see here, guys, is like for some of you, the person on your mind is possibly someone that you have recently kind of separated yourself from or you feel like you need to explore other options. Like some of you could even be just single, but someone is on your mind. Maybe you feel like things weren't really able to take off here. Um, and the third thing I'm getting is, you know, some of you feel like, you know, this person here that you're inquiring about thought the grass was greener on the other side, right? You may feel like they have chosen someone over you or chosen their singlehood over you. And you're kind of upset about it here or hurt by it. Um, bottom of the deck, yeah, seven of swords. Okay. Split the deck and we have the ten of wands. Okay. You know what I see here, Cancer? I feel like this person, right? How they view you is someone who got very tired of trying to figure out the next thing. Or like, re like you may feel like you had to dig very deep to figure out some sort of information or maybe to just get this person to open up. But how they view you, Cancer, is someone who's very tired of like... Um, pretty much trying if that makes sense like they're viewing you as exhausted like you feel that this connection is one-sided or you're the one who constantly has to put forward uh you know some sort of effort but they're viewing you as exhausted closing the door on them and with the seven of swords they do feel like some sort of dishonesty here is affecting you or that is what kind of determined your decision to move away okay let's see for my cancers Six of Cups, yeah. This person still feels very connected to you. So if you are the one who is in the single energy or you, you know, with the Ten of Wands, they are viewing you as moving on. They still feel very connected to you. They miss you. You know, they are thinking about when things felt, you know, way less complicated here. Okay. But I feel like, you know, what I'm persistently getting here is this is someone who could have made you feel like an option and you're kind of like, yeah, that, that's just not going to work over here kind of energy because... You know, as much as they're viewing you as isolated, they feel like you're more focused on yourself. You're more focused on your happiness because four of swords on the bottom of the deck means even if you were disappointed, right? Even if you were hurt by the situation, Cancer, they view you as someone who was healing from it or spending a lot of time alone. So the fact that you're isolated, yes, it is raising curiosity, but they're also aware that you're like drawing your energy back and you're being very careful with who you give your energy to, with what you share. Like, you know, once upon a time, maybe you were more of a public person. Maybe you would, or just open with this uh, particular individual um, in general. But now they view you as someone who is keeping to yourself. Whatever's going on, it's something that you're not really sharing with anyone. They view you to have a very private life is what I'm getting at here. <clears throat> Alrighty, so what's the mutual energy here? Six of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I feel like even though this is mentally impacting the both of you with the Six of Swords in the middle, it's like, okay, I'm moving on if Cancer's moving on. Or Cancer, maybe you're like, okay, if this person is moving on and taking it easy, that's what I'm going to do. Like you guys are connected with the Six of Cups, but Six of Swords, you're almost determined to move forward. So either it's the emotions are not enough or the love is not enough here, right? So it's like, okay, yes, I feel connected to this person, but mentally I don't feel at peace when I'm with them. 
when I'm with this person, um, you know, you like, like in your thoughts, cancer, you may feel like when you're with this person, you always have to, uh, you know, play the guessing game or, you know, with a ton of wands, you feel like things are very one sided. So it's okay to feel connected, but you're like, what's the logical thing to do? Possibly move away because that's going to help me attain a peace of mind. Um, and, you know, with the four swords that did come out as well, Cancer, I feel like for some of you, your focus is your mindset. Your focus is, okay, I need to let go of the things that no longer bring me peace. It's like trying and trying again and then getting to a point where you feel like you're hitting a dead end or like you're beating a dead horse, right? It's like you feel you're at a point where you can't do anymore and that's why your person views you as exhausted or moving away. They still feel connected to you, but they feel like, okay, moving away is, is you know, what cancer is kind of fixated on. Yeah, seven of wands. They feel like there may even be something in particular that you don't want to tell them. Um, because with the seven of wands, they're viewing you as on the fence, you know, kind of like on guard, you know, um, I don't want to answer your questions right now. I don't think cancer wants to, uh, you know, I, I don't think cancer would even tell me how their day went. Like there is this kind of like barrier or like, or, a, uh, you know, kind of like a blocked energy between the both of you. They're viewing you as someone who's pretty much very focused on protecting your energy, protecting your heart, protecting your peace of mind at all costs. So even if you were able to kind of let go of these boundaries in the past, they feel like that's something you're no longer willing to tolerate in the now, in the present. Okay, Cancer. Um, Six of Cups. Ace of Wands. Yeah. This person, when they think about you, they still get the butterflies. When they think about you, they still feel this like burning desire. Um, a lot of attraction, a lot of passion. But what's interesting is there is an emotional connection here. But with the Six of Cups, like this person may feel like, you know, now that you're moving on, especially with the Six of Swords, you don't want to return to the past. In original tarot, the, the advice behind the Six of Cups is, you know, feeling connected, you know, feeling very nostalgic, but like feeling those emotions and letting them pass, not dwelling in them because you know that what you need to do is move on. Right. Like, for example, sometimes you may be reminded of people of your past or situations of your past. But does that mean that, you know, uh, you need to go back to the past or does that just mean, hey, it's a memory. Let me think about it. Let me feel the emotions and let me move, let me move on or let me move forward. Um, yeah. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck as well. So this person could actually feel like you're exploring your options or there's new love on the horizon for you because we do have the single card as well. Uh, many options. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. Like, even if this person views you as someone with many options, maybe you feel like that's the reason why they were kind of putting you on the back burner or there was some sort of insecurity. Because how they view you now is open to new love or you're open to at least moving forward. They know that you're not um, emotionally invested as, what, as much as you once were. That's something that's very clear. Ace of Wands. The Fool. Yeah. Five of Swords. This person is mentally conflicted about your new beginnings elsewhere, whether that's a new beginning with another person or just a new beginning, like, you know, a journey, to, you know, on a journey to just heal yourself, putting yourself first, right? Because they view you as very giving. Six of Cups is like there's a there's a, almost like an innocent energy attached there. Like, you know, you know, in the past here, maybe when this person needed your help, you would drop everything to help them or every time they had a bad day and, and no one would answer the phone, you would you would always answer the phone. So there's something that they feel like they took for granted um, or they feel like they neglected you in the past here and it's affecting them because they feel like now cancer is moving on. They're moving forward. Um, you know, they're focused on new beginnings. Six of Swords. nine of swords yeah there's a lot of worry you know as much as you guys are moving on or trying to um you know not think about each other it doesn't help that you guys are still stressed out about this connection because in the mutual energy with the nine of swords that speaks about someone who is still up in their head so i feel like the situation is still impacting you guys whether it's because it's very fresh on your mind or whether it's because you feel like you shared a very deep connection with each other and now it's like okay is this really over for some of you, I will say, wow, Ten of Cups, yeah. For some of you, I will say with the Six of uh, Swords and the Nine of Swords, your person could be stressed out about moving away from you or thinking that the grass was greener on the other side because those two cards are clarifying grass is greener and it's like this person may feel like they kind of, like they didn't realize what you guys could have had together or they were making a very impulsive decision and now they regret it. Like you are someone that they think about every day, but there's a lot of um, worry when they think about you or the situation. 
there's a lot of stress. Um, Ten of Cups, you know, yeah, definitely someone who still wants a commitment here. Maybe for some of you, you were in a commitment with this person, right? Six of Cups lets me know that you guys have history. And maybe the blockage was moving away from a commitment, maybe thinking that they wanted to explore their options and then feeling like, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm disappointed or I'm not happy. Um, Seven of Wands. Yeah, King of Wands. This person is very attracted to you. I will say that, Cancer. Like, um, They may even feel like there's something very balanced about this connection. Um, you guys could be dealing with the fire sign, but they feel something about you is very mellow or you bring a very calm energy into their life here. Um, Seven of Wands, King of Wands. Wanting to pursue you or wanting to speak to you, but they do view you as someone who's very guarded. Um, I wouldn't say hard to read, but you're, you know, they feel like you just don't want to speak to them or you, you're just very careful with what you share. Like you're pretty much giving this person the cold shoulder is what they feel, Cancer. Um, King of Wands. Yeah, Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, Death Card. Yeah. It is a pretty hen uh, henny, wow. It is a pretty heavy energy here, um, Cancer. You know, I feel that with the Six of Cups, Five of Cups, like they miss you. They miss you so much. But with the Death card, they know something is coming to an end. Like even like because you have history with this person, maybe there were times that you guys would have a disconnect and things would be fine. But this time around, something feels real about it. So whether that's you not reaching out, whether that's this is the longest time that you guys haven't spoke to each other, they know that there's no returning. They do miss you. You know, Five of Cups, um, this person could be very stuck in their thoughts uh, alongside with the Nine of Swords. You know, she looks a bit dehydrated in the card, kind of just spending a lot of time alone thinking. So I feel like, yes, they do miss you. They are feeling connected to you, but they feel something about this connection is over or like you're moving on, but not to come back. Like you're moving on for good. Something feels very real this time around. Like this is it. This is the end kind of, um, you know, energy. And I feel like, again, that's what's upsetting your person here. Okay, guys. So moving on to Leo. <clears throat> all righty leo okay so the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you let's see oh, okay so three cards for leo all righty I'll take them all. Let's see. So the first card we have, guys, is legal matters. So justice, justice, divorce, balance, judgment. Okay. And then we have storm warning, upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, drama. Hmm. Hookup, one night stand, intimacy, casual relationships, flame. Did someone here make an impulsive decision? And it created an obstacle in this bond here? Or was there some sort of drama, you know, when it comes to a decision that needs to be made? For some of you, this could be legal matters, but that's not going to be the case for all of you. Um, but I do see here, guys, like there's some sort of conflict that you and your person here are, are uh, you know, currently in. Um, and it's affecting the both of you. And it could even be that there's like, even if it's not like an argument, it could be um, like a disagreement, but you're not, it could be a deal breaker where you're like, okay, this is a deal breaker for me. If you don't agree with this or we're not able to somehow work on this, I don't think I can no longer be a part of this connection here. But let's see what Tarot has to say. Death. Okay. Bottom of the deck and we have the Empress. Something here is stagnant or there's a disconnect because there's a potential for a lot of growth here, but an ending happened before things could even get started is what I, what I see. Uh, so you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, or a Taurus. Alrighty, so for my Leos. 
Oh, wow. The chariot. So some of you are dealing with the cancer here. Okay, you guys are very determined to move forward or determined to see some sort of progress in this connection is how your person views you. Okay, the chariot could also be um, read as like, um, you know, something to do with like a vehicle. So you could be getting a new car or because it is, we do have legal matters there, there could be an energy of, you know, um, some sort of financial loss pertaining to a vehicle. That's not going to be for all of you. But I will say, guys, like this person views you as someone who really wants progress in this situation. Two of Pentacles, they may even feel like you are in between worlds or you're trying to figure out like what to do next, but you're being strategic about it. Okay, what's the mutual energy here? Knight of Swords, okay. Yeah, the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups. There could have been a conflict that took place or a disagreement, like I mentioned, but it essentially, it was like a blessing in disguise or it led you to feel um, like what truly makes you happy. Because it's interesting, we have the Knight of Swords, the uh, Five of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Cups. So with the Knight of Swords, it could have been very, you know, like a back and forth uh, communication, could be read as bickering as well, guys. Um, and Five of Swords, you know, feeling very conflicted. And what's interesting is a third card is a Nine of Cups. So something that maybe once felt very conflicting or, or upset you, you're trying to look at the bright side of things. Okay. Now, for others of you, what's interesting is the obstacle here could be that you guys make each other very happy, okay? But there are, like, when, it, when it's good, it's great. But when there are disagreements, it may cause, like, a large disconnect. So your person could, could kind of view this situation as, I, I wish we can handle things in a different manner because we truly do make each other happy. Um, but in the mutual energy, again, there's some sort of disagreement that's affecting the both of you right now. Um, Knight of Swords could even be, um, you know, like one person feeling that they were kind of, they had to sit back and listen while another person kind of wanted the last word or they wanted to just, um, you know, express their emotions, but they were like being a selective listener. Judgment. If it's not about like, you know, your person stepping out on the relationship, they may feel like they need to let go of an old lifestyle. Like this could be someone who fell for you, but they did tell you that they have, um, you know, dated multiple people or they're open, you know, they were only used to open relationships or they were just, you know, kind of part of hookup culture, right? That sort of thing. But they know that, you know, with the judgment card, that's like a, a change. That's like when you're leaving an old way of, you know, being or thinking behind so that you can go after what you desire. So what your person is thinking about is the change that needs to be made in order for you guys to not feel conflicted or not argue. Like there may be something this person does and they know that that's the very thing that causes arguments between the both of you. Again, guys, no judgment. I'm just reading the energy, but it could be that for example, like your person may, uh, you know, go out a lot and make impulsive decisions and this is something that's bothering you. Or maybe you wish your person would make more time for you. Maybe you feel like your person is someone who thrives off of attention, but there's something to do with their lifestyle that affects you guys because it it's something that you guys like argue about or you disagree on. Okay. Um, the chariot. Seven of cups. Yeah, a lot of mind games or confusion, right? Where maybe you feel like you're constantly playing the guessing game here. They're viewing you as someone who has a lot of options, okay? But you still think of them. You know, um, and with the Seven of Cups, there's more, you know, confusion, like emotional confusion than anything. So this person may feel like you view them as someone who doesn't know what they want or at least what they want in their love life like an indecisive nature or, uh, you know, they may feel like they're very, um, like in and out, like they tell you one thing, but then the next day, maybe their decision has changed or their actions don't match up with what they tell you. They just feel like there are a lot of mind games or like emotional confusion between the both of you. That's creating some sort of disconnect. Um, what's the seven of cups? Seven of wands. You could have told this person something along the lines of like, I don't know what to believe. Because um, Leo, like what I see here is seven of cups and seven of wands. That's like, 
when there's so much confusion, like I'm trying to, like if you boil down the energy, that's like when there's so much confusion, whether it's, you know, there's a party here with many options or there's someone who tells you something, you know, on Monday and something completely different on Wednesday, right? Or they're telling you something, but they're doing something that is completely different. So this, you know, again, you could have communicated to this person, like, I really don't know what to believe. You know, there could have been something that occurred that, that has, uh, you know, kind of uh, created a barrier, you know, when it comes to trust or you feel like this person has been indecisive. You may be aware that they have emotions for you, but you feel like the things that they do on a daily basis or the lifestyle that they live really contradicts the promises that they make to you. Because they're viewing you as someone who's like tired, yes, but also guarded. Because you're not really sure. You're you, There's uncertainty. Are you conf mentally conflicted? Yes. But it's because there's a lot of uncertainty. It's like not knowing what to think because you don't know enough about the situation. Or not knowing what to think because, you know, maybe, you know, there are times where you feel like you have it figured out. But then your person tells you something completely differently. And then for those of you that give this person the benefit of the doubt, maybe you feel like you're constantly ending ending back at square one. And now it's causing you to um, be in a very guarded energy. Yeah, three of swords. King of pentacles, the wheel, two of swords. Yeah, something that you do not see clearly, Leo. Like you feel like there's a lot of uncertainty attached here is how your person feels. Um, and they do feel like, you know, there are emotions here. You are hurt. But more than that, they feel like the confusion is essentially what's causing a disconnect. This may, it's, it's very specific, but this may be an individual who's aware of their tendencies or their behavioral traits, but they're very like, um, I, I forget the term for that specific um, behavior, but it's like when you're like immune to what you do. So even if someone calls you out on it, you don't think anything's wrong with it because you've normalized it. You know what I mean? And in no way, guys, am I trying to diagnose your person, but I'm just trying to like express the energy that's coming through here. What's the judgment card? Yeah, seven of swords. There's something about this person's lifestyle that they feel like they need to leave behind or they feel like that's exactly what's in the way of you guys coming together. This person may feel like like if this is a non-committal individual, they may have not expected to fall for you, but it's like they're not really giving you the commitment that you're desiring, but they're also not wanting to let you go. So this could be the reason why they feel like you're in between worlds or you're not sure what to do because they're telling you one thing, doing another or uh, you know, they're not acting the way that you want them to, but then they're also, you know, telling you nice things or telling you, hey, I don't want to let you go. I still feel connected to you. What's the seven of swords? There's something about this person wanting to be more open with you or not like, like stop. I, I like, I don't really know how to sugarcoat it here, guys, but I feel like this is someone who doesn't want to lie to you. So it could be like a compulsive liar or someone who tries to maybe not address the things that have affected you know your emotions or what upsets you and it's someone who wants to be more open with you and i don't say this in a, in 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 a sense to pass judgment on your person i'm trying to explain to you like what's going on in their mind um seven of swords four of cups yeah ace of wands there may be a couple of things that your person is working on or, you know, they may be working on being more honest or open. They may be also working on like a very nonchalant kind of attitude, but how they view you, you know, it, they do feel like your garden and your interests may have changed or your emotions are changing because of their behavior. Like, it's like they feel like, yes, you were working on this connection or you wanted things to change, but because you're not seeing these changes, your emotions are now not the same as they used to be. It's like, okay, if I keep working on this, you know, I'm going to get tired or I'm at a point of emotional exhaustion. And, you know, if the, if the result is not my desired outcome, then I don't want my emotions involved here or I'm becoming very impatient with the situation is how they view you. Okay, guys. So moving on to Virgo. Alrighty, uh, Virgo. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Let's see. Oh, 
Alrighty, guys, so we have two cards here. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we have the friends card. So acquaintance, trust, support, loyalty, okay? And we have travel. Distance, boundaries, far apart, getaway. Okay, so you guys could be traveling at this time or you're making travel plans with your friends, maybe going out more. But what I see here, Virgo, is maybe like there's an energy of you shifting your focus. You know, maybe focusing on the things that, you know, made you happy before you met this person, before you were involved in this bond here. Um, because you've set very clear boundaries, but you're also distancing yourself even in your mind. You may be trying to create more of like a safe um, uh, a mind for yourself, letting go of limiting beliefs or negative thoughts that were um, that were present when you were involved in this bond here. For some of you, maybe you are speaking to like a close friend about the situation and it feels good to like open up or feel like someone else understands your situation. But this person does view you as someone who is, you know, being maybe being more social or going out more. So let's see. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. Okay, split the deck and we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person may feel like you are focused on new love. Okay, this could be new love that I'm picking up on right now with the Ace of Wands as well as the Page of Cups. Uh, you know, maybe a friendship, um, you know, that is blooming into something more. Or, you know, you have met this person as you were traveling. Okay, let's see. Two of Swords. Okay. So, Virgo, there's like... Um, there's a connection here, but there's also uncertainty or like you're you're connecting with someone. Maybe there's emotions, but when you think about the future, you're not too sure, right? This could be a water sign. We have the king of cups on the bottom of the deck here, followed by the nine of swords, six of swords, two of cups. Yeah, it seems like there's emotions between two people here, but there may be a runner. There may be someone who um, is, uh, you know, trying to run from their emotions or they don't allow people to um, see the vulnerable side of them. Let's see, what's the mutual energy here? Some of you, you may be traveling or you're like going by like bodies of water so that you can ground yourself or like make some sort of very important decision. Maybe you feel like you need to like clear your mind space in order to actually make a firm decision of, you know, moving on or moving forward, or even if it's about a new love, maybe some of you are hesitant to take that leap of faith, but you feel like you're projecting old trauma or something that happened in your past onto your present, right? So there could be different reasons as to why you're trying to clear your mind or, uh, you know, make some sort of firm decision. But I see like you guys trying to, um, Think about something very thoroughly, but make the, the right decision. And you feel like right now you may have clouded thoughts about a particular situation. Okay, what's the mutual energy? Nine of Cups. You make each other very happy, you know? Nine of Cups is uh, emotional fulfillment. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, guys, Nine of Cups is like emotional fulfillment. You guys making each other very happy. Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords, Four of Cups. There's like a hot and cold aspect to this bond here, Virgo. You know, you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Knight of Swords as well as the Four of Cups. Like Queen of Cups, very nurturing energy. They may feel like sometimes you guys are really there for each other. You're able to nurture each other. And then other times there's some sort of nonchalant behavior with that Four of Cups. That's why I was using the term like hot and cold or like um, something feels very unpredictable about this bond here. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, four of wands. There is a very important decision to be made in order for a commitment to take off. This commitment has the potential to be very stable with the ace of pentacles. Okay, so if it's not a new connection, Virgo, it's someone who, you know, you have history with, but it's a new beginning, a new stable beginning. And with the nine of cups, you make each other happy, but the uncertainty is what is um, kind of in the way of making a decision. Because we have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Your person wants to work on things with you, Virgo. Eight of Pentacles is someone who wants to put forth the practical effort. Four of Wands coming together in a very beautiful way. Could be read as, you know, higher level of commitment, potentially marriage. 
Then we have Eight of Wands, which is someone who wants to communicate their desires, their passion towards you. What is the uh, Two of Swords? Oh, okay. So the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is very attracted to you. Like you guys could be working on yourself or something about you physically also draws this person in, whether it's your hair, your facial features, uh, you know, your, you know, your body, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you dress. See, bottom of the deck, lovers. There's a choice that needs to be made though. Like for some of you, maybe you are friends with this person, right? And everything seems to be great, but someone here is hesitant to take the next step because they're afraid they'll ruin the friendship. Or there's an energy of, okay, we have such a lighthearted kind of bond here, but once the emotions get involved, there could be a runner chaser kind of dynamic. Um, what's the queen of wands? Eight of Swords. I think you stress this person out, Virgo. <laughs> I do. And I don't mean it in a bad way. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. Like, I feel when they think about you, Virgo, they're like, oh, what do I do? Like, I'm so attracted to Virgo. They make me so happy. I really want more in this connection. And they may feel like a decision is taking a very long time to be made or there's some sort of communication that needs to happen. And if you're like, no, I am speaking to this person, they want to know more. It's like they want to have a deeper connection here with you. Eight of Swords is someone who feels like they're always, you know, thinking about you. You're always on their mind, but like the situation stresses them out. Again, Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. That's another card of commitment. You make this person extremely happy. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups is, yeah, emotional fulfillment, but you're at a point where you're really um, stable. You're very happy on your own. And they may feel like you are like the missing piece here. Like they may feel like I'm so happy on my own, everything's going great, but if I could just be in a commitment with Virgo, I think that I would feel more complete. You know, not in a way of saying this person's dependent on you, but I think that they desire you a lot. Um, Nine of Cups. You're also, you, you're very confident, you're very bold. I feel like something about you challenges this person, but they like it, right? It's not like it's in a negative, you know, manner. Um, what's the Nine of Cups? Knight of Wands. And we have the Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck here, the King of Wands. Wow. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So you guys are a true pair match. There's a lot of passion between the both of you, a lot of steamy energy. Maybe even um, like, you know, you this may have started off with like friends, is, friends with benefits or like a lot of physical attraction is what I see. But with the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords, maybe the decision to be made is, you know, is this, can this passion, you know, be more than, you know, what we have right now? You know, is this a physical thing? Is there more here? Yes, we're attracted to each other, but are we able to maintain this and turn it into stability with the Ace of Pentacles? Like, you know, you guys may give each other the butterflies. You know, there's like this excitement when you guys are about to hang out with each other. Uh, maybe you guys love, you know, speaking to each other, that sort of thing. But there's something about when emotions get involved, there's definitely a runner in this dynamic or someone who has yet to open up. And there's an energy, Virgo, um, you know, and, and, and it's not to pass judgment. I'm, I'm telling you because I care about you and I want you to know what your person is thinking here. But there's this energy of wanting more from you. They feel like when you open up, you open up to an extent and then you kind of close off. This is how they feel. I'm not saying it's true, Virgo, but this is how they feel. Um, Knight of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, how do I work together? How do I come together? If there's anything that Virgo and I disagree on, how do we make this work? Three of Pentacles is like working in a team environment and creating a plan for some sort of stability. And in this case, it's stability with you. Um, what's the Ace of Pentacles? Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. See, that's the blockage here. Someone, it, so for example, Virgo, like because the Knight of Wands is in the middle um, mutual energy, this could be your energy or your person's. The person that was indecisive in the past, they feel like that is what's affecting them. So for example, even if you feel like your person tells you all the right things, their actions may say differently. 
Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, you know, Seven of Swords doesn't always have to be someone stepping out on a relationship or being dishonest. It could be someone who's very strategic. And because the Seven of Swords is clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, your person and Three of Pentacles, your person here is trying to create some sort of plan to come together. But they're not telling you this or it will be very unexpected. So even if they're speaking to you right now, something they're about to tell you or offer you will kind of be very new or you would you would not expect it. What's the Seven of Swords? Four of Pentacles. This person could also be working on their stability or finances, but they're keeping it to their self, right? They may feel like they don't want to burden you with their issues at this time. What's the Four of Pentacles? Knight of Swords, yeah. This person wants to speak to you. And if they're speaking to you, I feel I'm um, persistently getting a download of this person saying something unexpected. I don't see it in a bad way. It's just you don't expect this person to open up to you in that way. Um, as far as how they view you, they want more from you. I do see that they're wanting you to open up more. And I do feel like an indecisive, like someone who was indecisive in the past year, whether that was you or your person, because the Knight of Wands is in the middle, they feel like that is what is um, like affecting the stability in this connection. That is what, like, there may be a lot of emotions, passion, but it's like, okay, what are we going to do next? You know, um, maybe it's it's great when there's like lighthearted, fun conversations, but when there's conversations about like, are we ready for a commitment? Is this something that we want to continue being a part of? That's when there may be a blockage here. Okay, Virgo. So moving on to Libra. Alrighty, Libra. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, so we have two cards here. We have relationships, so commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, and then we have ghosted, disappears, silence, ignored, or rejected. So, you know, Libra, it could be you that's on the receiving end of, uh, you know, the, the ghosted energy that we have here, if you will. Or it could be your person where there's some sort of disconnect, but they're wanting an explanation. Okay, so there could be silent treatment currently between the both of you or someone feels very neglected in this situation. And with the first card being relationship, maybe you are in a commitment with this person and there is some sort of silent treatment as of right now, or there is, um, you know, there was like a stepping out of the relationship, but n not really any explanation, or you feel like you're seeking some sort of clarity or answers as to why uh, things ended or transpired the way that they did. Um, okay. Yeah, the moon, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of questions here. How your person views you, Libra, is someone who feels that there's a lot that you don't know. They view you as trying to figure out answers, but it's making you feel very uncertain. Um, split the deck and we have the lovers. For some of you, what was hidden maybe in the past is that your person was deciding between you and another individual or they were just failing to make like a very important choice. Like, for example, maybe they needed to move out or relocate. You know, we see a house here that says for sale. Maybe they needed to relocate in order to be with you, but they were kind of stalling on making, uh, you know, the choice here. Let's see. It could be dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini. Because Libra, this person feels like you guys have, um, like there are emotions present here, but something happened very unexpectedly. And what's difficult is there was no explanation following this unexpected event. Ace of Wands. Yeah, they still have a burning, you know, desire for you here. This is someone who still feels very attracted to you. They're wanting a new beginning, feeling very passionate. The Fool. Okay. This could be where like you guys were speaking about a relationship and maybe you weren't able to get it off the ground. Because what's interesting is Ace of Wands, the Fool, like this seems like a new energy or something getting started and feeling so great. And then and then feeling like, what? What happened? Where did you go? Or why did you stop speaking to me? Or what changed? 
because there's like this energy of something um, ending unexpectedly and maybe someone not explaining why they've left or why they can no longer be in this connection. Okay. Or maybe even an energy of moving on without explaining, whether it's to another connection or on their own. Because uh, in the mutual energy, we have the fool, which means both of you are focused on a new beginning or, or uh, you know, a fresh new start here. The chariot, some of you could be, oops, dealing with a cancer. Bottom of the deck, the five of swords. Very determined to see some sort of progress, but mentally conflicted about what to do next. Because there's a lot that they don't know. I see that your person could be trying to like remain very strong about the situation, maybe not lose their composure, but it's affecting them. It's something that they're thinking about. Like, I want progress. I want a new beginning. But I, you know, I, I'm thinking so many different things at once. You know, five of swords is when, you know, there's a lot of mental conflict. And seeing the moon again, it lets me know that there's either a lot of secrecy or something needs to come to light here is how your person feels. Ace of Wands is being clarified by the Eight of Cups. This is very specific, but someone here could have walked out on the relationship due to like a very impulsive decision to kind of like satisfy themselves or like a very temporary uh, type of satisfaction here. So like stepping out on a long-term commitment because you were feeling impulsive or because, you know, something felt exciting. Because with the Eight of Cups, it's interesting. Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning, but Eight of Cups is emotionally detaching or walking away. I will say for some of you, maybe it's an energy of you kind of feeling like, yes, there is a lot of passion here, but is that all? Because I'm not emotionally content. Your person is viewing you as emotionally det detaching because you're not emotionally content. So if the Ace of Wands is upright, they may feel like you are aware that you guys are attracted to each other and you guys share like maybe, um, you know, a very exciting connection but there's something here that's not emotionally fulfilling you, whether it's you want more, like you want a commitment or um, you're wanting this person to be more certain. Like, okay, so what is the Eight of Cups? Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. Someone here walked away from a commitment and they're still thinking about the fact that they've walked away. That's what I see here, guys. The devil still feeling very connected, very attached. So for example, Libra, if this is someone that ghosted you, they're still thinking about you. They're still thinking about the commitment that you guys had or the commitment that was that you guys could have had, right? Depending on your situation. And they feel like you are emotionally detaching because you're not fulfilled. Like, so if this person ghosted you, well, then obviously that could be the reason why you're walking away. If it wasn't a case of ghosting, they feel like you're wanting more from this connection. And because you're not receiving that, you're open to new beginnings elsewhere or you're open to explore your options. But I see that the person that walked away from this connection, they're still thinking about this connection. Um, what's the Fool card? The High Priestess. And it's interesting because, like, guys, even with the Eight of Cups and the, and the Ten of Cups, it's like this felt like a, it almost looks like a perfect connection on the outside, but there's something on the inside that's going on between the both of you. So it's like, maybe Libra, if it's your energy, you feel like, yeah, my friends and my family, they love this person and everything's great. But then, you know, when we're alone, I just wish they were a better communicator, or I just wish that they were um, a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, sensitive towards my needs, or there's something more that you've desired, but you've also chose to keep it to yourself with the high priestess. In the mutual energy, there's definitely silence between the both of you. You know, the, the high priestess could be silent treatment, but still feeling connected or still trying to, um, you know, still like there could be some sort of telepathic communication. What's the high priestess? Yeah, the six of wands. And it's interesting because it's in the mutual energy here. The person that had to um, deal with some sort of silence after an unexpected event, they're more focused on their success. So if that's you, your person feels like you're doing much better without them, Libra. They feel like you're just, you know, more focused on yourself, you know, maybe going out more, socializing more with that Three of Cups energy. Um, what's the chariot? And something that this person feels like you're keeping to yourself is things that are working out for you. So they may feel like you don't want to share your good news with them because you no longer trust them. Okay. What is a chariot? Chariot. 
justice, there you are. Setting things right or setting things fair. Doing what you feel is right. If you feel like this was unfair treatment or it was unfair for your person to, you know, um, respond to you how they did or react how they did, you're walking away. You're putting yourself first is what I see. Very determined to either express something to your person or make something very clear is how they view you. Like if your point is to prove that you're fine without them or move on, they feel like you're making that very clear. If you made a firm decision, um, you know, that you're not going to return to this person, they feel like you're sticking by it. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. They view you as someone who's more self-focused, Libra. Like they do feel like, yes, you you were affected, you know, by this um, energy, but they feel you are kind of taking that energy, you're putting it towards yourself. They view you as very successful, very abundant, possibly even now enjoying your singlehood, exploring options. Because that's why I was very confused because I'm like, there's like a past energy attached here about someone walking away, but there's also um, cards of new energy. So this person feels like you're more focused on new beginnings or exploring your options. Right. Like it's like they feel like you're at a point of being, you know, tired or exhausted of maybe ex expressing yourself, but feeling like it's not going anywhere because eight of cups is you feeling like there's something that's lacking emotionally in this connection. OK, guys, so moving on to Scorpio. Alrighty, Scorpio. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Oh, okay. There are way too many cards. Let's see. They come out again. Clear and concise, please, for Scorpio. Okay. Alrighty, three cards. So we have player, which is charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested. Okay. And then we have truth. Confession, clarity, reveal secrets. And we also have new love. Honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, new beginning. You may possibly have two people on your mind here, Scorpio, or you're healing from something that occurred in the past, but you're open to exploring your options or you've met someone new. You like the idea of them, but you want to get to know them better. Um, interestingly enough, I'm reading the first two cards together. You know, maybe someone here was making you empty promises, but you have gained clarity on, you know, something that was going on behind closed doors or you just feel like this is not a truthful person. Like maybe you feel like it's an individual who was portraying a certain image to you, um, but they weren't able to, or they don't actually, um, you know, that's not their actual lifestyle or, you know, they were kind of masking how they truly feel here. Okay. So we have the queen of cups on the bottom of the deck here, split the deck and we have the king of pentacles. What's interesting is your person is coming in as someone who views you as, you know, stable. They're viewing you as, you know, um, someone who was very open about your emotions. But I feel, you know, behind the Queen of Cups here, we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords. They feel like something affected your emotions, like uh, like a, um, some sort of truth or clarity. Because this card says clarity. And then the second card here is the Ace of Swords, which is like truth or clarity coming about in a situation. So they feel like something could have came to light here. And it's affecting you. And you're also choosing to move on from it. Because Six of Swords is when you're moving on from a situation. So it's like, you know, even if you're upset about it, you are not wanting to speak to this person or you're wanting to give them the cold shoulder at this time. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have the Tower as well as the Queen of Cups again. A 
bottom of the deck, the six of cups, something here could have occurred where it was very unexpected and you had a lot of questions, but you had to figure it out on your own. Your person views you as someone who is um, you know, facing some sort of disturbance like emotionally, but you are also frustrated with them. Or your anger boils down to some sort of sorrow, like they are understanding that there was hurt caused here because of their actions. Six of Cups, the hanged man. Yeah, thinking about how you guys connected, how you guys first met. Because there's something about a lot of emotions between the both of you, but a lack of truth. And this person may have you know, been acting on their emotions and, and telling you all the right things, but I don't feel that they were following through in the physical. But they do feel like what happened unexpectedly here is affecting, uh, you know, the both of you on an emotional level. We have the world card, which is one cycle coming to an end in order for something else to begin here. We do have the three of cups on the bottom of the deck and the five of pentacles with the ten of swords. Um, so the betrayal here could have definitely been a choice that needs to be made or you feeling like your person is neglecting you in this situation. Like this is very specific, but for some of you with the truth card player as well as the three of cups and the five of pentacles, you may feel like you felt very alone in this connection or there were times that you really wanted to speak to this person, but maybe they would make up an excuse or your or your plans with this person would be canceled. But the clarity that came after that could have been what bothered you. Like whether it's this person had a connection elsewhere or um, they would make time for you, but they were making time for other people as well. Like some of you view this individual as undis like someone who has a decision to be to be like to make. Okay, what's the mutual uh, energy here? Ten of swords feeling very betrayed in the situation, feeling like things are over. Eight of cups, yeah. Like how this person views you is something was missing. So whether it's something you made very clear, like, hey, I want a commitment or, hey, are you, are we exclusive? You know, are you speaking to anyone else? Cause I'm not, or there's something you made very clear and your person could have agreed with you or, or, um, you know, came off as someone who was on the same page as you, but there was something going on behind closed doors, which caused a betrayal between the both of you with that 10 of swords. They also feel like um, they're viewing you as someone who's going through your emotions on your own. Like they, don't, they view you as kind of healing on your own, maybe not expressing how you feel to them or anyone else. And they know that there's sorrow here, but they do feel like you're upset with them. Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. What's the Queen of Wands? Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Because we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So for, so for some of you, it's exactly what I said. Like this person may have told you very nice things. They may have even been very charming. They're good with their words, but they weren't following through on it. Nine of Wands means... You know, this person views you as blocking out their energy or protecting your energy, your peace at all costs. They feel like, yes, there's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of passion. But with that Ten of Swords and Nine of Wands, they feel like the betrayal has caused you to be extremely guarded. Maybe even not speak to them at all. Because a Nine of Wands could be quite literally when you like block someone's number or like, um, like block them off social media. What's the Nine of Wands? The fool and then the next card is new love this person views you as moving on scorpio like they do feel like you're upset with them frustrated but you're not willing to like uh backtrack or 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 you know take a few steps back and speak to them like you're more focused on uh, something new or you're wanting a change for yourself so if you're not you know um, associating with a new individual here they feel like that is what you're looking towards though like you're not really wanting to explore the options with this past person Queen of Pentacles, the Justice. Yeah, many of you are focused on new love, and this is something that can be very stable, guys, with the Justice card as well as Queen of Pentacles, right? Whether this, com this is coming in for you or you're associating with a new individual, you can sense that this could be a very stable connection. You may actually have two people in your energy. 
someone you're moving on from and they're well aware of that. And then some, someone that is, you know, fairly new or you're just, this is what you're manifesting. You're attracting new love. Like the main concern you have is you want to be in a relationship where your energy is being recipro reciprocated. You don't want to play the guessing game and you want someone to be upfront with you with that justice card as well. Because with player and truth, it seems that in your past energy here, you may feel like you, um, you know, you attract individuals that are charming, but they're not really honest with you. Or they just tell you what you want to hear. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. What is the Justice card? Three of Cups. Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of, Queen of Cups as well. Yeah. I will say for some of you, you're cutting ties with someone who was not choosing you as you were choosing them. Someone who was not reciprocating your energy right? Could be a third party situation where there was a choice to be made. And what was revealed to you is your person was stringing you along, or maybe they were telling you they were going to end another connection, but they did not do so. And what you're doing is you're moving towards stability, or again, you're involved with someone new, and it's making you feel like better about, you know, uh, your love life or just better in general, feeling like I'm finally interacting with someone who understands me on a deeper level, someone who actually um, reciprocates my energy, someone who is truthful with me. Okay, guys. So moving on to Sagittarius. <clears throat> Alrighty, Sagittarius. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. So we have three cards for you guys. We have travel, so distance, boundaries, far apart, getaway. And then we have date. So courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. Okay, so some, some of you could have met someone while you were traveling or you're making travel plans with an individual you're in communication with. And then we have legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, judgment. Hmm. Okay, so... For some of you, like I said, yeah, you could be meeting, this could be someone who's fairly new, but we also have the anniversary, uh, it says anniversary on the date card as well, so maybe this is someone you have history with, someone that you've been in a commitment with, um, and we do have legal matters as well. So I wonder if this is an energy of reconciling with someone, um, or, you know, not all of you are going to be going through legal matters, right, that's a very specific message, but I do feel, guys, like there's emotions, there's this magnetic pull, right, but you're also maybe trying to take things slow or set very clear boundaries here. Hmm. Yeah, 10 of cups. I feel like this person desires a commitment. Then we also have the hermit. This person may want a commitment, but their actions are saying like differently, you know, um, because with the hermit here, it could be someone who feels a bit isolated or someone who keeps these emotions to their self. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Let's see. Okay, so how does this person feel about Sagittarius? Yeah, they want a commitment, Hierophant. This is someone who feels like they met you for a reason. They also feel like you make them very happy. You understand them on so many different levels here. What's the Hierophant? The Queen of Wands, okay, and the Ten of Swords. Six of Swords. A lot of attraction here, but what's kind of standing out to me is there is this energy of commitment, but there's also this energy of something coming to an end. That's why I did pick up on maybe reconciliation energy or someone that you have history with who is wanting to come together, but not necessarily sure how to go about things. Because Ten of Swords is an ending or a betrayal taking place here, but the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands is someone who's still very much attracted to you, someone who's still thinking about a commitment here. 
and six of swords, right? Maybe leaving like a dark space here or, or a time that felt more complicated into, you know, a more positive, uh, uh, you know, time together. Like this person wants more with you, but they're also not wanting the past to repeat itself. What's the mutual energy? Let's see. The sun. Yeah, you guys make each other very happy. This is kind of a contradicting energy. Like for some of you, if it's fairly new, it means your person has is healing through something that occurred, you know, in their personal life or another relationship or just a situation like some sort of loss that they face, but they're realizing you make them very happy. What's the sun? Like someone could be moving away from another situation, but moving closer to you. Nine of wands. Something is blocking this person from coming forward. For some of you, it is legal matters or your person needing to cut ties with another individual, whether they're connected to them through, you know, children or assets. Like there's like an unexpected um, energy. Like I did not expect to fall for Sagittarius. So like if you guys went on a date here, maybe they, they feel like they developed emotions very quickly and now they're wanting to make a firm decision or move things along, but there's something else that they need to end. Because with the nine of wands, there's a blockage between the both of you. Either a lack of communication, someone here could quite literally be blocked, or your person feel, feels like they're kind of like pivoting or like they don't really have much breathing room because they need to cut ties with someone or let go of something in order to actually pursue a connection with you. It's like they feel if they don't let go of something, it would be very unrealistic to imagine that you guys could come together. What's the nine of wands? Oh. Okay, what is the nine of wands? Nine of swords. They're stressed out about the situation, Sagittarius. Like when they think about you, they become very worried about, you know, what to do. As I say, that two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Your person is either juggling right now between two people or they're, there's a firm decision that they need to make in terms of, okay, if I want a commitment with Sagittarius, I need to, you know, uh, maybe let go of a behavioral trait or, or I need to make something clear. But there is this back and forth energy on your person's end and they're becoming very stressed out. Because they feel like there's something that is blocking the both of you. Whether that's on your end or their end, because the Nine of Wands is in the middle, the mutual energy is this person feels like there is a blockage between the both of you. They're wanting more from this connection, but they also know that they need to release. So you may find that when this person speaks to you, like there's something they're not telling you, or you feel like they're healing from something, there's something in their past that's still you know on their mind. And again, guys, it doesn't have to be like a past connection. Like for some of you, it could genuinely be that your person is not wanting to, um, you know, per, you know, project their uh, trust issues onto this bond here or something that occurred in their past. Five of Cups. This person, like they feel like they're on the go. They're, you know, taking care of what they need to do. They have a lot of responsibilities, but deep down or when they're alone at night, they're very affected. Like they feel very alone. They feel very deprived. They feel emotionally exhausted, but on the outside, they portray themselves as, you know, well, I can't show my emotions because I still have to get on with my day. I still have to, you know, take care of my children or I still have to, you know, work two jobs or like they feel very conflicted because it's like they want to sit down and they want to remove some sort of blockage, but they feel like they have no breathing room is the best way for me to explain it. So whether it's because they feel like they have a lot on their plate, whether it's because, you know, responsibilities are in the way of this connection. Um, what's the five of cups? They do miss you. They miss you a lot. So even if you guys are speaking, they, they want more, like they want to see you more. Yeah, four of swords. King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. See, they have a lot of emotions for you, but there's something they need to heal. Four of Swords is an energy of healing from a loss. Again, it doesn't need to be a romantic loss. It could be, you know, uh, the loss of a family member, a friendship, or someone who is really up in their mind and they feel like they're self-sabotaging. It's almost like they know they need to do something, but they're still, they're, they're hesitant to make this decision. 
Like if I, you know, you, you drop option one and go to option two, is it going to work? If I relocate, what if, you know, Sagittarius and I don't work? Like there's a hesitant energy when it comes to change, like a resistance to, ch resistance to change. What is the four of swords? Knight of Pentacles. So you may find this person is very slow to make a decision. Some of you, you know, you may find that they are thinking about this decision, but they're like, again, very, very slow to actually um, let go of something or completely change something in their life. What is the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They see a lot of potential here, Sagittarius. And for some of you, maybe there's already experiences that you guys have shared together. Because the Seven of Pentacles speaks about seeds that have already been planted, but then you're at a point where you're observing now, what do I do differently moving forward, right? Um, okay, let me wait for this to happen or let me, you know, waiting for a sign. Like it could be read as like a waiting game as well. But with the Knight of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles, your person is very stuck in their thoughts because they know that there's something they need to release. That's what I'm... That, those are my takeaways from the spread here. Yeah, seven of cups, right? Feeling very emotionally confused. What do I do, right? Even if they feel a connection towards you, they need to make a decision to move forward. And I feel like the decision is what they're stalling on as of currently. Okay, guys, so moving on to Capricorn. All righty, Capricorn. So the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Alrighty, let's see. Hmm. So we have two cards for you guys. Uh, the first card we have single, which is alone, isolation, lonely, and guarded. And then we have roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith, strategy. Okay, so you know, you could be enjoying your singlehood. Maybe you're, you know, speaking to someone new here and you're wanting to take that leap of faith. Okay, maybe you feel like something about this feels a bit risky or, you know, you have to step out of your comfort zone. But it's like taking the chance because you're desiring that change. So let's see. Uh, seven of cups. So there's definitely a decision you need to make here, uh, Capricorn. Okay. Or you may feel like it's your person's energy that you're inquiring about pertaining to, you know, commitment. Cause when I split the deck, we have the 10 of cups, but then we have a seven of cups, which means someone here is emotionally confused. Someone here is feeling mixed emotions, or they're thinking about so many different things at once. They're not able to come to, you know, a solution or, uh, you know, a conclusion here. Let's see. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Three of Cups. You guys could have recently went on a date or this is what this person wants here. They want to take you out. They want to have a good time. Four of Pentacles. It could be someone who is, uh, you know, kind of working on their finances or they're rebuilding their self after some sort of financial loss. What's the mutual energy? Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, and Judgment. This could be someone who doesn't want to long for you or miss you. Instead, they just want to, you know, take that chance and like be open with you or see where things can go. Because five of cups upright could be like a, um, uh, you know, like missing, longing. It could even be dwelling on the past. So with it in reverse, this is someone who feels like, like in the mutual energy, it's like, okay, I no longer want to focus on the past. I want to move things forward. I'm not focused on what used to be or what happened to me in the past. I want a brand new beginning. Yes, it feels kind of risky. Yes, it feels like, you know, I need to leave my comfort zone for this, but I'm willing to do that. So let's see. Six of cups. Interesting. So for some of you, this is someone who's finally going to break the silence or be truthful about something. Because Six of Cups, I could read it as, you know, someone you share a past connection with, someone that you have history with, okay? Or it's it could be a fairly new energy, except you're like, but I feel so connected to this person. I feel like we've shared past lives together or there's, you know, there's like this connection I feel with this person that I can't really express. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this person. I feel like, you know, our conversation just flows. 
So I feel like the connection is here, but it's like wanting more progress, not wanting to dwell, uh, you know, in, in past actions or something that happened in their past, even if it has nothing to do with you. Um, three of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. This person is being very strategic at this time, Capricorn. Like Knight of Pentacles is someone who is um, premeditated. So if you boil down that energy, it's like um, thinking about every every possible outcome, right? Thinking about um, everything that could go right, but also everything that could maybe potentially just, you know, go left here. So I feel like they're very premeditated at this time, Capricorn. But with that Knight of Swords, I see them being open with you. Like I don't feel like it's someone who is premeditated and spending more time thinking. Because Knight of Swords is someone who wants to be open with you. Someone who wants to communicate how they feel. Nine of Pentacles. You know, confirming the single card. Because Nine of Pentacles, you know, means singlehood. You know, enjoying uh, more of like an independent energy. You have someone who desires you, Capricorn. And they no longer want to be alone. They no longer want to focus on the past. Like this could be someone who feels like I needed to meet someone like Capricorn to restore my faith or... A belief in my love life like that you you do impact this person in a very positive way but they feel like they need to move very diligent they need to do something very carefully um five of cups in reverse so needless to say this person doesn't want you got doesn't want to get off on the bad foot with you <coughs> excuse me sorry uh what is the five of cups in reverse page of wands you make them very excited you know like i said you're restoring some sort of hope or faith in this connection even if it's someone you have history with capricorn they're feeling excited about this they no longer want to dwell in the past they don't want to think about what was or what could have been they just want to start something new here what is the page of wands very passionate about you four of swords Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> My apologies, guys. I didn't realize we stopped recording, but with the Four of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, this is someone who is contemplating how to um, have things be more stable between the both of you. They may feel like the first time around they did not approach things correctly. But I don't know, Capricorn, I feel like this is more of like new love. That's just what I'm getting here. Like someone who feels like maybe in the past they um, approach their love life very differently or things in their relationships of the past did not work out for, you know, said reason. And they're wanting to make, you know, a turnaround or make some sort of change here when it comes to you or how they handle things with you. Six of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Swords. It's either you or this person that have recently went through a breakup and it's a, and it, you know, you're no longer wanting to focus on that because the five of cups in reverse is in the mutual energy, which means both of you could have had a conversation of your pa about your past, but you're no longer wanting to speak about that or, you know, have that affect the ability of you guys moving forward. A lot of thinking going on with the hanged man here seeing things from your perspective i feel guys like for some of you this is someone who is working on like almost creating a plan or how to approach you in a better manner it like for some of you if you know even if you guys were in a commitment with the single card there maybe there was a separation maybe there's an energy of okay maybe we can't do this right now there's something that's wrong and now they're thinking about how do i have more stability here because I would be very surprised if this is a past energy because that means your person is really just wanting to turn over a new leaf and not address anything of the past here or focus on what, what hurt them. Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords. Wanting to apologize for some sort of betrayal um, or you know emotionally confess how some sort of ending affected them. This is someone who's going to be open with you, Capricorn. I do see that. 
It's like one cycle coming to an end, a new one beginning. So they will be open about what affected them in the past year. Whether that has anything to do with you or not, they're going to speak about it. And then they're going to want to move on from it because they feel very connected to you. Like, I don't feel like this is an individual where you have to worry about, okay, you know, is are things really over with another partner or are they still attached to their past? Because this is someone who no longer wants to dwell in the past. That's what I'm taking away from your spread here. Okay, guys. So moving on to Aquarius. Alrighty, Aquarius, so the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Let's see. Alrighty, so we have two cards for you guys. The first card we have Storm Warning, Upheaval, Obstacle, Wrecking ball or a drama, okay? And then we also have regret. So mistake, guilt, wrong choice, or apology. Yeah, okay. So someone, you know, here, Aquarius, right? The person you're thinking about could just be a feeling re very regretful when it comes to some sort of um, drama that occurred between the both of you or a conflict. <clears throat> kind of like... I could have handled things differently or I should have said this or I shouldn't ha I should have not said this because it also says wrong choice and apology. So there could have been an argument due to someone, you know, making the wrong choice or feeling like the grass was greener on the other side. And now it's like, OK, I want to apologize for that because I feel regretful. I'm not happy with my decision. But I do feel like some sort of conflict is affecting this person as of currently. Um, let's see here. Bottom of the deck, the world card, and then split the deck, we have the sun. One cycle has come to an end, and there's a brand new cycle that is about to start. They view you as someone who makes them very happy, but it's interesting because it's like ever since some sort of ending that they're regretful about, they feel like you're you're doing good. You know, you're enjoying yourself. Maybe you're going out more because the sun is a very positive card. Okay. So how does this person feel about Aquarius? They feel like you're you're uh, like blocking them out of your life, whether it's blocked communication, not wanting to speak to them anymore. Um, but they do feel like it's it's not even uh, guarded. It's blocked like they don't know how to speak to you or they don't know what to say to, you know, open up a conversation here but they're viewing you as someone who has set very clear boundaries and it's clarifying the storm warning card which means you know the drama or the conflict in this connection has affected you and now they feel like you're like closed off to them and they're regretting this um you know we have mistake guilt so it's like they feel like it could be a guilty conscience that's affecting them but they're not sure how to communicate to you especially if you have this person blocked with that nine of wands because it could mean that it could be read as you have this person's number blocked or, you know, you have them blocked on social media. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Moon. What's hidden from you is this person wants to work on things. They want to put forward some sort of practical effort, not just tell you that they could do better, but actually show you that they can. So what's the mutual energy here? The Two of Cups. There's still emotions between the both of you. The emotions are mutual bottom of the deck here is your energy wow this person still feels very connected to you split the deck five of swords that's why they're conflicted it's like okay for example if this person made a decision to move forward whether it's with another individual or just choose their singlehood over this connection they're like i made the wrong choice because i still feel connected to aquarius during the time of a decision your person did not feel the same way that they do now which lets me know that this decision was uh, you know could be possibly impulsive or it was you know uh kind of like a decision that was based off of pride 
like if there was a conflict, your person could have, you know, been very nonchalant and, and you know, moved on or, or told you that they did not care. But they're realizing, well, I do care. I, I still feel connected to Aquarius. And now I'm feeling very mentally conflicted. There's something very rare about you and this connection that they share with you. You don't, you know, they, they feel like you don't, like you cannot be replaced. They feel like how you make them feel, no one else does. And so there's a lot of regret here. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person feels like you've made a very firm decision and they're viewing you as detached or like very closed off to a conversation. Like you are not willing to converse right now. You're not wanting to hear from them. Instead, you're like reclaiming your power or doing things that make you feel happy. They know you like you still feel connected to them. They know the emotions are here, right? Emotions, given emotions don't leave overnight, right guys? But they feel like you're more determined to be guarded. So it's like, I know Aquari Aquarian is thinking about me, but I also know they're not going to speak to me. I also know they're frustrated with me. Like that kind of energy. Um, what's the nine of wands? Eight of wands in the bottom of the deck. So they could be reaching out to you. Ace of Pentacles. You know what this person's fear is? If they speak to you or offer you something, they feel like your response would be very like, you know, what do they call it these days, guys? Like dry or like, like very like, you know, if this person were to reach out to you, they feel like you wouldn't really be interested in responding to them. Or, you know, you're kind of very set on a decision that you've made. So there's like a lack of hope that you guys would be able to overcome this obstacle here. Like they desperately want a new beginning, but they're like accepting the reality of a situation and the fact that you are upset with them. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, judgment. Someone here could even feel like they're making a change when it's too late. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. You know, we have the Eight of Cups. Like you make them very happy, but they feel you're not fulfilled in this situation. So even if in the past this person had a choice to make, right, maybe what was missing is the fact that, you know, you feel like your person was not making that choice. They were not really acting on their emotions. And some of you, you know, your, your question may be, why did it take something so drastic to occur in order for you to realize that you actually have emotions for me? Like, that's not fair uh, to me. So I'm going to kind of protect my energy, not kind of, but definitely protect my energy with that nine of wands. Like some of you are upset this person took a while to decide because you feel like you were very sure. And in general, you feel that if you are sure of something, then, you know, what, what's really holding you back, right? Um, what's the two of cups? Page of pentacles, seven of swords. This person wants to speak to you is mainly what I'm getting here, Aquarius. Like, like there's a lot of regret, right? There's a lot of sorrow. But what they want so badly right now is just to speak to you, just for you to open up a bit. Like, they feel like you are so far uh, gone here where there's, like, no turning around. They really do feel the disconnect. But I think what's bothering them is the fact that they really want to have a conversation with you. Because we did see the Eight of Wands as well. Seven of Swords, and behind that we have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. This person may feel like they made a decision based off of stability, and they still don't feel stable. What's the Page of Pentacles? Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, right? This person desperately wants a new beginning here, guys. And they're so mentally conflicted. Like, again, there's like a choice they had to make in the past and they either chose someone over you or they didn't make a choice at all. So it caused you to walk away with that eight of cups we did see because you felt like this is a key component that's missing. If you're not going to make a decision, I'm not just going to go on dates with you or I'm not going to jeopardize my emotions or put my heart on the line if you're not certain about what you want. So when, when you came to that conclusion, this person's like, oh, man, I need to make a decision. I regret not making a decision because now Aquarian doesn't want to talk to me. They have, you know, blocked me from their energy. What is the Queen of Wands? Four of 
four of pentacles. They're feeling your absence. They feel that like this is a major loss. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of cups. I really feel like your person is regretting some sort of decision they made, whether it's to move on with someone else, whether it's to keep their options open, whether it's to not decide at all. They're regretting how they acted or the decision they made or failed to make. Um, Four of Pentacles is a mentality of lack or feeling like you don't have enough. So you're kind of gripping onto what you do have. And for some of you, this person could be like replaying memories, you know, because they feel like, okay, well, that's the only, you know, place that I could derive some sort of comfort from because, you know, the, the current state of this dynamic right now is very detached. It's very cold. Aquarian doesn't want to speak to me kind of thing. What is the Four of Pentacles? That's way too many cards. What is the Four of Pentacles? <clears throat> Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. This person could be waiting for a sign from you. Okay, that's going to resonate for those of you that specifically have this person blocked because they feel like they have no way to get through to you. And if you don't have this person blocked, the blockage here is this person doesn't know what to say to you to break that barrier to convince you of something like changed behavior or the fact that you guys can have a turn of events. Eight of Cups, you feel like something is missing and your person is feeling that energy from you. They're feeling like, uh, you know, because you, you like you're emotionally det detaching because you're not, you know, content here, it's affecting them. They feel like they should have done more. It's making them, it's like they're they're out of ideas or they're out of a plan. Like they're they're trying to curate some sort of plan to come forward. But four of pentacles is like a mentality of lack or feeling like you don't know enough or have enough to proceed. So I see this person stuck on you. I do feel like, you know, you, you know, they're viewing you as someone who is still thinking about them with the two of cups, but nine of wands. They feel like you're very determined to uh, kind of stick by your decision. Like you're determined to uh, stay detached or, or not open up for a conversation. Okay, Aquarius. So moving on to Pisces. All righty. Pisces, so the person on your mind and their current feelings towards you. Let's see. Okay, um, so the first card we have is toxic relationship so it says fighting codependent misunderstanding or a trigger okay and then we have healing so wounds improving mending progress someone here could be thinking about how to heal things with you in terms of maybe letting go of a behavioral trait or letting go of something that no longer works because it seems that this bond here, maybe once upon a time, there was something that was very unhealthy about it. So it's like, how do we heal that? How do we overcome that? How do we do things differently? Whether it's, let's speak to each other in a kinder tone. Let's be pa more patient with each other. There's some sort of change that your person is focused on uh, or releasing something that feels very unhealthy. Okay. Four of Wands, still feeling very connected to you. That is a card of commitment, but we also have the Four of Swords. So you guys could be currently going through a disconnect, but you um, are still thinking of each other. You're still thinking about the future with each other. Like if this person is not speaking to you right now, they're still thinking of you. They're still thinking about what you guys could do to, you know, fix what has occurred between the both of you. Okay, let's see. This person is definitely keeping tabs on you. This is very specific, so only take it if it resonates. For some of you, the issue here is accusations. Like someone here could kind of believe what they hear or what they see without actually confronting the opposing individual. And it makes the opposing individual feel like they're hitting a dead end or their you know, back is up against the wall and they're not really sure what to do moving forward. 
Like someone here may be very curious, but they try to attain knowledge about you, Pisces, but not through you. So there may be some, like you may want more direct, uh, direct communication from this person. What's the mutual energy here? Queen of Wands, a lot of attraction between the both of you, very passionate. So this could be a relationship where it's like you guys are not able to, um, you know, stay away from each other or keep your hands off each other, like, because there's a lot of passion, but then you also feel like there's something very unhealthy. Like there may be a question, um, you know, of is the passion enough? Are we able to have more or are we just attracted to each other, but we can't seem to get it right? And if so, why can't we seem to get it right? Like, it's like this person is very connected to you and they know there's something unhealthy here, but they're not willing to let you go. Like, even when they're upset at you, they're still thinking about you. Knight of Swords. Yeah, like very, like you, like this person could have communicated something to you and they feel like they were very, um, like quick with their communication. Maybe they said something that rubbed you the wrong way. But I feel like this is like an accusation, like someone saw something and then they confronted the other individual, but didn't give that individual time to explain. Knight of Swords could also be read as like a selective listener. Maybe some of you feel like you're not like this person doesn't really try to hear you out or your perspective on a situation. Um, instead, they're more so just telling you how they feel. What's the Page of Swords? The Nine of Cups. Justice. Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. It's like you make this person very happy. They want to do the right thing. But it's like something here is like whether it's an unhealthy attachment in their personal life, whether it's, you know, they tell you that they are sorry for accusing you or they're sorry for jumping to conclusions. They're having a hard time letting go of something that feels unhealthy. They do have emotions for you, Pisces, but like I'm sensing like an attachment energy or something feeling very unfair and they know they need to work on it with the five of wands. Five of, wa five of wands could also be read as competition. Like this may be someone who keeps their options open. And then when they get a reaction from you, they're act they, they act stunned. Or you know that they purposely did something to get a reaction from you, but you're becoming very tired of it. If it's not like competition with other people, you may just feel like you're constantly fighting for this person's attention or they're not opening up to you. Nine of cups. Six of wands. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands, as well as the Four of Pentacles, the Empress. They view you as extremely successful. They view you as someone, you know what, I could be very successful with, with Pisces. They make me so happy. But it's almost like they feel they don't know enough or they don't have enough to attain something with you. It could be finances in the way. It could be distance with the Two of Wands. Or it could be the fact that there's not really a stable plan at hand. Because what I see, guys, is like two people that are very passionate about each other. Like you guys just, when you're together, it's amazing. And so there's also like a possessive nature here or like a territorial kind of nature where one person may feel like it's very unhealthy. So if that's you, Pisces, you may feel, yes, I'm connected to this person, but I feel like we're, we're great for each other or we're super terrible for each other. Like why can't we come to a middle ground or more so a healthy ground? Uh, Queen of Wands. Judgment. Bottom of the deck here, the devil. See, guys, I kept saying there's something unhealthy here, even with toxic relationship. But for some of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Leo energy, Eight of Wands. Something needs to change in order for you guys to come together. Whether that's letting go of the way that you guys speak to each other. Because it's in the mutual energy, right, Pisces? So in no way am I playing the blame game. I'm just, you know, expressing to you what's going on here. Um, so as far as the judgment, there needs to be a change. Someone needs to either leave an old lifestyle behind. Or even if you guys are in a commitment, there, you know, maybe there's a change. There needs to be a change in how you guys do things. How you guys approach each other. Maybe, we, maybe it's like, <clears throat> maybe it's like, okay, I want this person to listen to me more. I want this person to be more sensitive to my needs. 
right? Or, or when we have a conversation, I want to be able to sit down and have a conversation like two civilized human beings instead of having it escalate into an argument. But there's something that feels very repetitive and unhealthy in this connection that needs to change in order for you guys to essentially, um, you know, get off on the right foot, I guess, with the judgment being clarified by, yeah, the Eight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you, like this person's viewing you as deciding between your singlehood or um, being with this individual. Because Eight of Swords lets me know that you're a person, like you could have communicated to them, like you're really stressing me out. Or every time, you know, where everything seems to be going great, it always ends up in, you know, uh, you know, a bad way. Like there's something here that's stressing you out that you may have made very clear to this person and they're aware of it. And the decision to be made, you know, maybe do I want to move on, you know, like on my own, we have two nines here, an independent number or eight of swords. Like, do I want to um, try to work on the situation? What I do see here is that both of you feel very stuck because the passion is so strong, because the emotions are there, but it's like they're not being expressed in a healthy way or there's something that needs to be released, but you guys still feel very stuck because of the connection that you guys share. So it's not easy to walk away is what I'm getting at. Um, Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Three of Cups. And we have the Queen of Wands. The Magician. For those of you that, you know, you're aware that, you know, because the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups could be read as a third party situation, which is not going to be the case for all of you. But if you are... Um, fully aware that you are in a third party situation the issue at hand which is very clear to me in the cards is one individual is telling the other individual that they're going to leave a connection that they are in but they're not leaving and then when the uh, party that's being lied to is expresses that hey you're not really doing the things that you said that you're going to do you know they may just be it may just result in Oh, that's okay. You know, or, or saying nice things to you. So like if it's your energy Pisces, maybe this person's in a relationship and they tell you that they want to come out of the relationship or they're going to do it, but you feel like you're constantly caught up in this, uh, you know, love triangle or you're caught up in this person not making a choice and you're getting very tired of it. And this person could feed you a lot of empty promises or they're really good with their words. So it's like not wanting to let someone else go, but not wanting to let you go. And you're like, you can't have us both or you can't be indecisive that's the situation for some of you um three of cups yeah six of cups bottom of the deck here ace of pentacles and we have the nine of wands some of you you know the decision is you know do you want to be like block this person out of your life and move forward you know do you want to be on your own and i do see that it's hard because there there's like a very magnetic pull between the both of you um and, you know, even with the Six of Cups, it could be that, you know, your person tries to justify why they're not able to let go of someone else, whether it's because, oh, it's a childhood friend or I've known this person for a long time or it's not as easy as um, just leaving this person or something along the lines of that, pretty much excusing their behavior or justifying why they're, um, why essentially it's resulting in you feeling tied up in, you know, like a love triangle. But what I see here is, you know, your person is, the like they're aware something needs to be released here but i don't really see action oriented cards guys i see someone who's more like up in their thoughts um and someone who is more focused on you not leaving or you not detaching from the situation but not really focused on why you want to detach from the situation in the first place that's what i'm getting at okay so my wonderful piscians that is what i'm getting for you this week i really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today and uh thank you so much for your time